Emily is teaching her six-year-old daughter maths using coloured bars. What's two plus two? Four. You already know that one, don't you? The mother of four quit her job to stay home and educate her children. It means losing the family's second income. But Emily thinks it's worth it so that her children can avoid going to the local public school. Our school systems are not as good as other countries in the world, other industrialized countries. We have a pretty poorly ranked school system, so I think it's not a bad idea to consider alternatives because what we're doing right now isn't working that well. Nearly two million students are homeschooled in the United States, twice as many as 15 years ago. In the District of Columbia, as in most states of the country, the parent must have at least a high school diploma to teach at home. But apart from that, there's little oversight. Less than half of states mandate testing for homeschoolers, and parents are free to choose the curriculum and the teaching method. Emily, for example, has chosen for her children to learn French, and so that they can experience having classmates, they share this lesson with other homeschooled kids. And there are cooperatives like this one a few kilometers from the American capital, offering courses like foreign languages, chemistry and chess, to 350 homeschooled students. I love it. Um, I wish actually chess class was every day. <laughs> but that would be more strategy than ever. But you know, you gotta learn. Historically, homeschooling was mostly done by conservative Christian families looking to give their children a more religious education. But it now attracts parents looking for a more flexible approach to learning. I like to have influence in how they view history in a in more thorough and broad depth. I think in this country we kind of begin history with slave trade and that's it. The new administration's education secretary, Betsy DeVos, has voiced support for school choice and homeschooling, a welcome boost for a growing movement.